In a year marked by impressive advances in artificial intelligence, the Tesla Optimus robot begins to stand out as one of the protagonists of this new technological age. Since it was introduced to the public, the project has aroused both enthusiasm and concerns, reaching hopes for the use of humanoid robots for repetitive or dangerous tasks, but also raising debates on the impact on human workforce and how these machines can integrate into our daily lives. It is natural that the idea of robots replacing humans cause some discomfort. However, Elon Musk has already made it clear that Tesla's goal is not to create a dystopian scenario on the exterminator, but to develop a safe, useful, and reliable tool for the home environment. In the early stages, Optimus still faces limitations, mainly because it depends on a constant expansion database. However, as evolved, the robot is expected to become increasingly efficient, gaining agility and taking on more complex tasks. The idea is that in the future he can perform hundreds or even thousands of everyday activities accurately and without having to rest, which makes him revolutionary potential in terms of productivity. Still, Optimus is not the only one in this promising market. Several companies are also investing heavily in humanoid robots, many of them already showing impressive mobility and coordination skills. The big question is, what differentiates the Tesla robot from others? And why is the company, whose focus has always been electric cars, is so committed to this project? Let us be frank. How many times have you really thought to ask a robot for help to wash the dishes or tidy up the house? For many, this still looks like science fiction movie. Most humanoid robots available today are still slow, limited, and poorly practical, and usually have prohibitive prices. But something started to change. Over the past two years, the global interest in advanced robotics has grown exponentially. From Chinese companies to American giants, all are betting high in this sector, determined to transform fiction into reality. A remarkable example is the Boston Dynamics, which has led industry for years with creations such as Spot, Stretch, and Atlas. Although technologically impressive, these robots have not yet reached mass production. Even with almost a decade of advances, they continue more as technical demonstrations than useful products for the general public. Therefore, many people believe that humanoid robots were condemned to live only in laboratories. But this scenario is changing. Robots like Tesla Optimus are challenging this perception and gaining space in the popular imagination. It is no exaggeration to imagine that by 2026 robots are present in everyday activities such as deliveries, inventory organization, laundry, or even service in networks such as McDonald's and Pizza Hut. It may seem too futuristic, but this future is closer to what it seems. Since the end of 2024, updates on Optimus have become scarce, which has raised rumors that the project was paused or abandoned. But this is not true. Although Tesla has reduced the number of videos released, robot development continues. The last major update came in December, when Elon Musk shared images of the Optimus walking on a regular land. Reduction in ad frequency can be just a change in strategy in the company's communication, not a setback signal. Musk has publicly stated that Tesla intends to use robots internally from 2025, with large, scale marketing plans the following year. The production target can reach 100,000 Optimus units, which demonstrates the company's seriousness in the project. Initially, the robot can be used at Tesla's own factories to perform tasks such as cleaning, parts handling, battery organization, and even assembly line aid. The possibilities are broad. In addition, limiting public information sharing has a strategic purpose, to protect the company's innovations against competition. Keeping development confidential helps prevent other companies, especially in countries like China, known to quickly replicate technologies, anticipate the market. One of the great differentials of Optimus is its constant connection to the cloud and other devices. Unlike traditional internet-connected devices, such as smartphones, it is designed to actively learn, make decisions autonomously, and collaborate with both other robots and Tesla's digital infrastructure. Just as the wireless internet revolutionized communication after the launch of iPhone in 2007, Optimus intends to take advantage of this connected revolution to operate with more intelligence, 
agility, and independence. In addition, Tesla is integrating the Optimus robot with Starlink, the SpaceX satellite internet system. This will allow the robot to operate normally in remote areas, even where there is no mobile signal or access to Wi-Fi. With Starlink's direct-to-cell technology, Optimus can connect directly to satellites, eliminating the need for traditional telecommunications infrastructure. This capacity opens incredible possibilities for the use of robot in isolated places, vessels, aircraft, or any other environment where the conventional connection is non-existent. What really differentiates Optimus is its mobile and shared memory system. Everything he sees, listens, or does is continually registered and synchronized in real time with the Tesla cloud. Through a mobile app, the user can access this complete history of interactions, even being away from the robot, which facilitates control and supervision. And if any Optimus unit needs maintenance or fails, your data may be transferred fully to another robot without loss of information or progress. This concept of shared memory is especially advantageous for companies that operate with various robots. Imagine, for example, a restaurant chain where one of the robots learns a new task. This skill can be instantly shared with everyone else without the need for individual reprogramming. This exchange of knowledge between robots significantly improves productivity and coordination. More than just isolated robots, Optimus is part of an intelligent and interconnected ecosystem. Companies with multiple branches will have several robots working together. And if the price estimated by Elon Musk, around $20,000, if confirming in the future, this can enable the purchase of entire fleets. However, this most affordable amount should only be achieved when annual production reaches about 1 million units. At first, the cost per unit will probably be between $45,000 and $60,000. Even so, investment can pay quickly especially if robots are used strategically. Musk believes that many companies will want to set up Optimus's true armies. As robots work in a synchronized manner, having multiple units will allow a highly efficient delegation of tasks, even among distant locations. A robot in a Texas store, for example, will be able to coordinate actions with another in New York. They share information, learn from each other, and, in authorized environments, even securely exchange confidential data, a significant differential in the face of competitors who face difficulties to maintain stable connectivity or synchronize information between distinct systems. Elon Musk also revealed that Tesla intends to offer Optimus through leasing contracts, which will make the robot more accessible by reducing initial costs. With this alternative, companies will be able to test the robot in practice without the need for a high investment early on, assessing whether it really meets their demands. For organizations that decide to adopt Optimus on a larger scale, Tesla will be able to make packages available with special conditions, either purchase or renting multiple units. A manager, for example, will be able to train a single Optimus in a given task and then replicate this knowledge to the other robots of the team. These training data is stored in the Tesla cloud, but are specifically linked to the company that developed them. Thus. When new robots are incorporated into the team, they already arrive ready with the necessary skills loaded, eating rework or reprogramming. This approach recalls the operation of Tesla's full self-driving software, where learning is updated and shared on scale. From this perspective, an Optimus robot fleet would function as a powerful distributed processing network, performing tasks far beyond the ability of a single isolated artificial intelligence. And as Optimus's software is being enhanced with new updates, the number of functions it can perform tends to grow rapidly. There are more than a thousand possible tasks, and that number is still far from the limit. Musk's vision is not limited to promises. It often reinforces that Optimus will be part of people's daily lives, acting side by side with humans in various functions. In the near future, he believes it will be common for families to have at least one robot like that at home, or even more. Musk even compared Optimus to Star Wars's iconic characters, such as C-3PO and R-2-D2, noting that the inspiration come from the idea of having a reliable assistant, 
such as what young Anakin Skywalker created to help his mother. And that is exactly what he wants with Optimus. A partner robot, able to take care of housework and more. But Optimus goes beyond a simple home assistant. Its differential is in the ability to generate real value, including financial, if used strategically. Mus has already commented on thousands of possible occupations for the robot, and the list of functions only grows. With the constant evolution of the software, it can run between 5,000 and 10,000 different tasks. Imagine starting with a robot cooking 10 dishes, and with each update, he learns dozens of new recipes until he gets to the point of preparing at virtually any meal, bumping that you provide the ingredients. Of course, this level of complexity will take time to reach, but the path is already traced. For now, in 2025, Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, should be used mainly within the company's own factories. Tesla is expected to make the most of connectivity between robots to optimize production. One Optimus can transfer one task directly to another or even work in conjunction with several fellow robots, all synchronized by network, without the need for verbal communication or direct visual. A practical example would be the use of several Optimus to do the night vigilance of a shed. Even without interacting directly, they would act as a coordinated team thanks to the connection between them. A really impressive resource when you think of the level of integration involved. With regard to appearance, Optimus stands out among the humanoid robots already presented to this day. Its design conveys sympathy and accessibility. Clearly an intentional choice of Tesla, which sought to create something that didn't seem threatening or too mechanical. Compared to other models available on the market, the visual difference is evident. While many robots display apparent wires, robust metal structures, and exposed mechanical elements, Optimus displays an elegant, clean, and uniform finish, almost without visible failures, something that even causes strangeness of such refined. If there was room for an improvement suggestion, either for the current version or a possible more advanced version, such as Generation 3, perhaps a front display could be interesting. This screen would allow more visual and direct communication with humans. However, this is just one idea. Tesla may choose not to follow this way to keep the design lean and the lowest cost. Adding this type of functionality could complicate the project and raise the final price, making it difficult to reach the target of $20,000 per unit. In a lighter tone, some people played by saying that Optimus walks like Joe Biden or as someone who has just left an intense leg training. But if we observe well, we will realize that this way of walking with our knees slightly bent is also common in robots for Boston Dynamics, Unite, and Kepler Forerunner. And this is not a defect. It is a planned technical choice. This posture allows a lower center of gravity, which improves stability and balance, especially in a regular land or during rapid and unexpected movements. This walking style, with a slight slope and semi-flexion joints, helps the robot to stay firm and also consume less energy during the movements. In the case of Optimus, this reduces the necessary strength in the knees and makes the displacement more efficient. Therefore, instead of focusing on criticism of the cast floor, the most important thing is to evaluate aspects such as overall performance and speed, areas where the robot still needs to evolve. Currently, it is true that Optimus is among the slowest humanoid robots on the market. Its maximum speed is approximately 1 meter per second, while faster competitors already reach up to 2 meters per second. In demonstration tests, the Tesla robot performed 132 steps in 78 seconds, which is equivalent to about 1.67 steps per second, with each step measuring just over 30 centimeters. This rhythm is visibly below ideal, especially when thinking about practical applications that require more agility. Speed, therefore, is one of the key points that should receive attention in the next updates. Lately, we have been following the advance of other humanoid robots besides the Tesla Optimus. A highlight in this scenario is Figure AI, a startup of the Silicon Valley that has been evolving at accelerated steps. Recently, images of trucks loaded with their humanoid robots caught the eye, as well as videos of demonstrations that show the skills comparable to those of Optimus. Figure AI 
is quickly standing as a relevant force in the humanoid robotics market. Its main model, Figure 02, is already operating in industrial environments, especially in logistics tasks. Equipped with the artificial intelligence system called Helix AI, Figure 02 has shown great potential to automate and optimize warehouses. A recent video of the company showed the robot by organizing packages in a confidential place, which generated a lot of interest. Brett Adcock, founder and CEO of Figure AI, commented on social networks that it took only one month to put the robots in operation for the company's second client. Although the name of this client is kept secret, industry experts believe it could be a retail giant, such as Amazon or Walmart. Adcock is optimistic and projects that, with this contract, Figure AI will be able to manufacture about 100,000 robots over the next four years. The demonstration revealed that Figure 02 is capable of scanning barcodes, recognizing objects, and correcting errors autonomously. One of the most striking features of the Helix AI system is sports mode, which increases operational speed by up to 50%, significantly boosting productivity. Another strong point of Figure 02 is its depth 3D perception. The camera installed in your head captures high resolution images and ample field of view, ensuring precise control of the movements. In addition, the robot performs automatic checks and calibrations in its components, which minimizes maintenance stops and maintains uniform performance throughout the fleet, something fundamental for companies that manage many robots. Helix AI goes beyond individual optimization allowing the entire system to learn quickly and share knowledge between the units. When a robot learns a new skill, this update can be sent instantly to the others without the need for recalibration, reducing time and implementation effort. This gives Figure a significant competitive advantage in the robotics market. After ending its partnership with OpenAI, the company has developed its own AI platform and is currently raising funds on a Series C round with the goal of raising $1.5 billion. If it reaches this goal, the market value of Figure AI can approach $40 billion, a huge leap against the $2.6 billion rating in 2024. For the future, Figure AI intends to expand the use of Figure 02 to the consumer market after improving it in industrial operations. The Helix AI system runs in low-energy consumption GPUs, which makes it suitable for everyday use. The company emphasizes that humanoid robots should have a priority of household chores, such as helping home activities. Although it is a promising scenario, training robots to perform complex tasks in the kitchen, for example, it requires mastering a wide variety of actions in various contexts, which requires a lot of sophisticated training data and models. Elon Musk knows that he cannot ignore this competition, as the dispute already exceeds the electric vehicle segment. Even with Tesla, with a solid manufacturing base and several advantages in the area of humanoid robotics, other companies are advancing quickly. And the competition tends to intensify even more, with technology giants like Google investing heavy in the industry, as well as rumors that Apple, OpenAI, and Meta plan to enter this market quickly.